Pisces, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with another tarot card reading for you today. Let's get to it. Uh, it's been a long week. All right, so the illuminated one here, the Pisces. The enlightened one here, the Pisces. All right. So we do have the Light Seers Tarot deck out here today to channel some energies from the divine and see what the universe has to say for you. A few oracles here as well to pull in some additional messages, some additional clar uh, clarities. Oh, whoa, we having jumpers. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold down. Hold on, Pisces. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Hopefully you're going to that like button like and share subscribe add value to the channel so that the message continue to grow all right um grounding your reading today pisces let's see what we have we got yeah you're trying to get somewhere you have the king of wands here so this is the energy that you're exuding you're being very creative you're being very passionate the wands are about movement, so you're, and this is the king, so you're definitely wanting to bust a move or make a move, or someone's wanting to come towards you here. Could be following your passions, your creativity, or your sexual desires at this time as well. So there's definitely no stagnancy here. Hmm. Could be dealing with a content creator. The Hierophants, learning valuable lessons, dealing with teachers and gurus, life experiences, um... Gaining an, anoint an anointing, gaining experience. Yeah, definitely. Man, so when I came out here, my, and it's, it's here again, the ringing, the, re the ringing in my ears, the shining. <laughs> it's literally a high-pitched noise out here at this time. Man, sometimes people can only concentrate and hear it when it's dead silence. It can be mad noise around me and I can hear it. So definitely dealing with a highlighted figure here. Um... Let's get more information here. The Hierophant, which numerology is a five. My life path number is a five. And then we're getting six of pentacles. So, so something that you're learning is going to be uh, become a benefit to you financially. All right, Pisces. King of Wands. Hmm. So you're maybe, maybe you're a content creator. Five of pentacles, another five. Uh, so this is financial conflict. This could be moving from one place to another. This could be feelings of being left out of a foundation or an institute as well. I'm getting your creativity is being challenged. Hmm. The high priestess, visions, dreams, psychic abilities, and intuitive gifts. This is Pisces energy. This is Cancerian and Scorpionic energy. Hmm. Could be learning something about yourself or learning something about the people around you. They can't hide much from you. And on the flip side, you may be very transparent as well. Now, I'm not sure if you can see or how many people are familiar with the Light Seer's deck, but the High Priestess's eyes are closed. But if you look really close, you can see her eyes are actually open and she can actually see. So things that people try to hide from you, you get a second insight or a psychic knowing about it. You're one with the universe and being transparent, hence things cannot be hidden from you. Six of Cups. This is going to be my spiritual flirtation card. Mm -hmm. A victorious moment in regards to your emotions or your empathic intuitive gifts or abilities. Again, you could be getting better at something okay 55 and 66 here okay what else are we getting three of cups okay we're getting communities associates could be with six of pentacles and five of pentacles could be business partnerships could be roommates is what i'm getting here with the five of pentacles usually dealing with a movement from one place to another so you could be seeking out roommates or a roommate could be seeking you out be partnering with someone on a home project or something like that 
four of wands so yeah dealing with home foundations and structures resting where you lay your head at at the end of the day a resting moment a meditative state which falls in line with the high priestess meditative state meditative energies could be resting as well the tower i'm getting time out i'm actually getting pineapples <laughs> all right so again this could have been a destruction to your foundation or your home life you could be being forced to move or you could be being forced to relocate or maybe you are forcing someone to relocate or reevaluate re themselves financially or the ground that they're standing on hmm. yeah you're being viewed as the king of wands Hmm, what is going on here? Four of Pentacles? Yeah, saving, investing. Again, you could be planning a move. Could be visiting a bank as well. Four of Wands and Four, I'm sorry, Four of Swords and Four of Pentacles. This is a resting state or a resting moment here. Stop spending so much here. Or this could be the state of mind that you're in, wanting to save your money. Wanting to make a move here with the Four of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Five of Pentacles. What else am I getting here? There's one more message. Six of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be victory. There's going to be movement. So we have um, you being victorious, you being highlighted, you being celebrated, you being offered an opportunity here in the universe delivering uh, victory to you. Or um, you receiving your celebrity moment here. Six of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. I'm getting someone can see themselves in you. Or you're reminding people of themselves here. So this is support in equal give and take. This is uh, also support from the community. You're a celebrity. Uh, whatever energy you're putting forth or whatever you're traveling to is going to be able to benefit you here. And this is uh, Six of Cups, the emotions, the way that uh, you make people feel. Again, people could see you inside themselves. Mm -hmm. Could be comparing themselves to you, maybe an older individual or a younger individual. Maybe looking at you as a teacher or some type of a celebrity of some sorts. But 666, you all know that is about self-love, self-care, and surrendering to the process of the universe. Surrendering to the process of divine. The divine has a plan for you here that you're going to need to follow out or follow through with. Uh, other synchronicities, we have the Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, resting your finances so that when the time comes, you're going to be able to make or take the actions that you're needing to take. The Hierophant, Numerology 5, Five of Pentacles. So um, maybe a religious foundation could be a church or something like that or a group of people or individuals are meeting up to gain higher knowledge or gain higher perspective on a situation here. King of Wands, you're being seen as a leader, maybe a thought provoker, uh, maybe an actor as well, someone very creative, mm, someone very confident, definitely a leader. What else do we have? Three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. I hope we have three sixes here. So definitely a victorious moment coming towards you here. The collective is wanting to take part in whatever you have here. The Three of Cups. So minor negativity here. Uh, the Tower card. This could be the divine forcing you out of a situation that's not meant for you and forcing you into a situation that is meant for you. But it could seem like the universe is punishing you or it could seem like uh, people around you. There may be people around you that is... Um, they're, they could be triggering you or they could be being unfair towards you at this time with the, the five of pentacles again uh, messing with your finances could be mm, maybe they told you something but they're acting completely different but you definitely have a change on the way a victorious moment here the divine is going to be offering you support and it's going to be providing you with people that are actually going to be on the equal or one accord with you Again, people that have similar interests as you or can see you in themselves. Mm -hmm. 
could be coming from a, uh, a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. But definitely someone that seems quite um, divine, maybe intuitive even here with the High Priestess. Major Arcanas, we have, yeah, we have the High Priestess and the Hierophant. So this is a twin flame union here. This is the, the divine partnership or connection here with you. You may be coming in con contact with a roommate, rooming with someone. Uh, could be a business associate or co-worker that you're coming into a divine union with. The Hierophant and the High Priestess are definitely uh, twin flame counterparts. The Hierophant is the male High Priestess and the High Priestess is the female Hierophant. And then we have the union here. 666. That is all about spirituality. You're resting on each other financially and mentally here. Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. The Tower card. You guys are being brought into union here by the uh, by the universe. Although it may not seem like it. This is the, the only way that you attain your anointedness, just like how Jesus was hung out on the cross and he was reborn. The Hierophant has many life lessons to go through. The High Priestess is triggered emotionally into a spiritual awakening. All right. So Moonology says a time for healing. You guys are going to be working together and healing each other, bringing out the best in each other, no doubt. A time to give rather than take. Yeah, Six of Pentacles energy, an equal give and take. You guys are going to be giving healing energy off to each other. Could be massage therapy or Reiki. Traveling with each other could be with the Six of Wands. But it seems like you guys are going to be uh, needing to maintain uh, a balanced home life, a stable foundation with each other. Your commitment is being tested here. That's what spirituality and faith is all about. Your commitment. It's always being tested on a daily. You learn something new every day as the Hierophant would. Nothing can be hidden from you as the High Priestess. All right, so... So we have um, attraction. You attract, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Attracting your divine counterpart. They are always attracted uh, to each other from opposite ends of the universe or opposite ends of the world. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. The uh, attraction in the, in the chemistry would be obvious, I'm going to tell you. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in relate in this relationship. So refrain from hiding your true intentions with each other. All right, and it says, "Love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive." So you got four romance angel cards. So make sure there's no codependency. Make sure that you're not jumping in and out of relationships just for the sake of being in relationship. You know, you can't siphon off love from someone. You have to love yourself first and then you share it with people. And hence, they, them the same as you. Expect the same thing from people. You know, you can't expect something from someone that um, they can't expect from you. Or that you can't expect from yourself. Well, you get the drift. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel uh, so that we can continue to grow. Allow the message to spread here, Pisces. Catch you on the next one. Peace.